Hello everyone. In this video, I want to explain why using instance of assertion in your Cypress set might be trickier than what you would expect. So I have a test that someone sent to me and they're asking why this failure. They are grabbing an element from the page by ID. Obviously the element is there, you can see it highlighted. And then it's a div, so they get the DOM element and we're trying to assert that this is an instance of HTML div element class. Hmm, that's weird. Why is it failing? Well, to understand why instance of is not behaving the way you think it should behave, let me explain the architecture of Cypress. Cypress is unique. When it controls the browser, it iframes your website. It also iframes the spec itself. So if we open the DevTools and we look at the structure of the page, we have a body, we have the app, and inside, if we start drilling down, we have a container, and then we have iframes container. And right there, you can see iframe with your app and an iframe with a spec. The iframe with a spec has size 0 by 0 pixels because it just runs the source code. It doesn't have any UI of its own. The UI that you see on the left is actually drawn in the top window. Okay, so by the browser and JavaScript architecture, the top window of a browser has its own window object, its own event loop, right? And every iframe inside that window has its own separate window object. That's how browser ensures that the context in JavaScript and variables is actually isolated. So that if you iframe another page, it's isolated from the top page. You still share the event loop, right? That's why the code has to take turns and that's what makes Cypress unique in its ability to lessen flake. But you do have one top window and you have another window object in your application iframe and third window in your spec iframe. So if we look at the console, you can see you can switch between those contexts, right? You have a top window, you have an app, and you have a spec. So let's say we are on the top. We can say, here's my window object. If we switch to the application and we say window, we're actually getting a different window, okay? Now, inside the application, there is HTML div element. And if you want to get from iframe to the top window, you can say window top. Okay. And it has its own div element. And obviously, two functions same. Let's use triple equality to check. No, they're not. So the HTML div element is different between the top window, the application iframe window, and the spec iframe. So now let's go back to our test. We are getting the element from the iframe review application, but we're checking it against HTML div element in the spec window, which gives you a wrong result. So how do we fix that? Well, we cannot just use HTML div element. We have to use the HTML div element from the application window, which we can get using side window command. That's what gives us window from application. And that's the same window that actually was used to provide the constructor for the div element. So we can say use the window from application. And now it's passed. So this is the reason behind it. So be careful about using instance of. Make sure you're comparing the object against the window that was used to create it.